The CBS drama The Red Line aired tonight. It examines serious issues facing Chicago using the famous rapid transit line as a backdrop. Tonight, we take a closer look at that L line itself. If you ride the red line and really pay attention, you'll have a better understanding of our city. This is a red line train tonight. For Philip Jones, it's how he visits a sick sister on the south side. It's convenient, though, you know, and uh, you don't have to worry about parking, things like that. On the north side, Anna Lindemann hops on to get to work. I like to look out the windows when we're above ground because it kind of makes the ride go faster and then you can kind of like see what's going on. They are among the 250,000 people who take the CTA's red line every day. Howard Street on the north side to 95th Street on the south side, 23 miles altogether on elevated tracks, in the subway, and down the middle of the Dan Ryan Expressway. It is the busiest of all of Chicago's L lines. It's the backbone of Chicago. It is the thing that really connects the city together. Greg Borso is a longtime red line rider and author of the book, The Chicago L. It is a community space where you rub shoulders with people that you don't order, you wouldn't see otherwise. For Borzo, the red line is not a mere form of transportation. He sees simple pleasures here too, as the L courses through a variety of Chicago neighborhoods. Sit by the window, look out the window, and you'll, you'll have a tour of Chicago, like you would get on a double-decker tour bus. You see churches, backyards, schools, businesses, uh, baseball games. From that friendly skies, uh, 25 feet up in, in here. Chicago's first L system went up in the 1890s, powered not by electricity, but steam. In 1938, construction began on the State Street subway, now part of the red line, funded by the federal government, which wanted to put the unemployed to work. Well, thanks to the Depression, the Depression created a large workforce right. willing to work for a dollar a day, and so they were put to work digging. In an engineering marvel, that arduous digging carved out a tunnel under the Chicago River. They had to construct the tubes elsewhere, and then they were floated down the river and sunk uh, is in place. Transfer to orange, green, in 1993, to simplify the L system for riders, the CTA color-coded the lines. The red line unites north and south, but underscores Chicago's racial segregation. Here we are traveling through Lincoln Park. By the time we got to the South Loop, the racial makeup of our train had changed. It changes when we get into Roosevelt. It changes. Changes from what? White to black. White to black. <coughs> Still, Greg Borso sees an opportunity along these 23 miles. So the fact that you know that it goes through Uptown and the Gold Coast and Bronzeville and the South Side and Chinatown, it, it gives people an opportunity to get to know each other better and to be more comfortable together, even if we don't strike up a friendship every day with somebody new. The red line and CTA plan to extend the line south to 130th Street. That'll depend on whether it gets funding.